Premiere has many export options to choose from. Here are the basics. You can use the Quick Export button in the top right of the screen to save an H.264 MP4 file to your computer. Quick Export will use the sequence settings to determine the export settings. For more options, switch to Export Mode. The left column will show you which sequence you're exporting. Make sure you have the right sequence selected. Saving a media file will save the file to your computer. You can also publish directly to social media accounts. This may extend the time it takes you to export your video, but will save you from the extra steps of publishing online or from your phone. Now, let's explore the settings column. Take note of your file name in case you need to search for it later. Here you can choose the location on your computer that your video will be saved to. Export presets can help you choose settings quickly. H.264 formats work well for most scenarios and can be uploaded on almost all major platforms. Open the video section for more controls. If you change any of these settings, you will see the preset switch to custom. In most cases, it is easiest to match your export settings to your source video. The right side of export mode will show your video preview. Open the menu next to range to see the section of your timeline you're exporting. Entire source will export the whole timeline, ignoring in and out points you may have set. Source in slash out will export the section of clips in the in and out points. Work area can be used if you have the work area bar enabled in your timeline. Custom is used if you set the in and out points here in the export preview. The scaling options may resize the image of your video, so let's choose carefully. We will change the resolution to demonstrate the scaling options. Scale to fit will resize the source video to fit the exported frame size, but it won't distort or crop the image. There may be black bars on the side of your video as a result. Scale to fill resizes the source video to completely fill the space. There will not be black bars on the side of your video, but part of the image may be cropped. Stretch to fill will stretch the source to match the width and height of the export settings. The video may look distorted. Use scale to fit to maintain your source image and match your export settings to your source frame size in order to avoid black bars on the sides of the video. Here is a summary of all the settings you selected. Finally, you can add it to the media encoder queue to continue editing in Premiere while it's exporting. Or select export to deliver it directly from Premiere Pro. Take a break while it's exporting. You earned it. Let us know if you have any questions. We'll be happy to help.